Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is Wednesday and now 83 degrees. And as you can see, my tomato plants have a lot of green tomatoes. Unfortunately, a cold front is coming in tonight. I do not want to pick all of these green tomatoes because this Saturday and the subsequent days, we're going to have Indian summer weather. So, I am going to embark upon a very daring experiment. I am going to leave my tomato plants outdoors, leave my tomatoes on the vine when we get into the single freezing digit temperatures. First, I'm going to hang two bananas to try and hasten the ripening process. Bananas release ethylene gas that can speed the process. Just in case my experiment fail, I took about two or three branches of tomatoes. I've already clipped them off and I'm gonna put them in the brown paper bag with bananas to go ahead and um, ripen the tomatoes so that I will have some tomatoes left over. Now I'm gonna wrap each tomato plant with this green standard gray frost blanket, which gives about six degrees frost and freeze protection. I added another commercial grade frost blanket that would give it approximately 10 degrees frost and freeze protection. I am now covering most of the raised bed with a double layer of frost blankets. This will add an additional 16 degrees frost and freeze protection and it should trap enough heat radiating from the soil to add another 8 to 10 degrees. As you can see, the cold front is trying to come in and kicking up dust and drawing in that dusty northerly wind. The four layer frost blankets will not only provide a total of 32 degrees frost and freeze protection, but will capture and trap heat radiating from the soil and other surfaces that was warmed by the sun. After doing the math, I should be able to produce 42 degrees warmth under the frost blanket covers. Stay tuned to see if this experiment worked. I'm gonna see if my experiment worked. I had a lot of green tomatoes on this plant. And let's see what happens. I'm, the unveiling begins. This is a commercial grade frost blanket. Purchased it at a plant nursery store. And this is what I used, use in the winter time when I'm trying to create a cold frame, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this back. This is a standard grade frost blanket. I will continue utilizing both the standard grade frost blanket and the commercial grade frost blanket during the evenings. Our nighttime temperatures 
are gonna probably be averaging about the mid 30s, high 30s. As you can see, my plant did really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out the way and put this right on top of the snow. You can see the amount of snow we got, but look at that, isn't that awesome? Okay, so I'm gonna see what this cucumber plant looks like. I wrapped it with the commercial gray frost blanket. Wow, look at that. Did well, did really good. Still got the cucumber. Indian summer weather has now emerged. So that's what I'm trying to take advantage of is the Indian summer weather. We're gonna have 70 degree temperatures for the remaining of the next two weeks. So I have more growing season. I just had to get over that two day cold freeze that is typical in Colorado. It's pretty much sent out the message to the rest of the vegetation, it's time to go to bed. But I needed that extra growing season for the cucumber plant, the onions, and the tomatoes. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm taking the commercial grade frost blanket off first. and then the standard gray frost blink. Wow, look at this. It survived, ah, yes. Look at, it survived. And look at this banana I stuck at the bottom. Here's the banana right here. And I actually had tomatoes ripening during that time. So you see my tomatoes? They're, they still look good. The tomato plant looks good. And I was able to get my tomato plant to survive that two day freeze and it did. Now, there was a little damage here, but that's not a big deal. The bottom line is I extended this growing season. So there's a little frost damage right here. But other than that, it did a great job. Let's see what this one looks like. So my test worked. It was a success. I was able to extend my tomato plant past the, the two day frost. We had record lows in October. And the test, the experiment worked. Wow. This tomato plant made it too. I extended my growing season. Tomato plants are in the ground. I'm gonna take advantage for the next two weeks. That's all I needed was two more weeks. That's all I needed to try to get these tomatoes to turn red. Now what I'm doing though, I am pinching off these yellow flowers. I don't want any more growth. I was able to get these tomatoes to start turning red, as you can see. But as I see yellow, as I see yellow flowers, I just pinch them off. Any yellow flowerings, I just pinch them off. Because I want all the energy right now to go into the actual tomatoes turning red. And I've got the banana hanging off the plant so that it can release the ethanol gas to start turning the tomatoes red. So again, the tomato plants are at the end of the growing season. 
but here in Colorado we don't have extended growing seasons we end up getting a frost for two days in the middle of our fall and typically everything just dies and then the Indian summer weather emerges and at that point we have no more extended time so my experiment work I wanted to share this with you and anyone who's growing in a zone 5 um, uh, climate and they want to try to extend their growing season I just want to let you know the proper frost blankets maybe triple quadruple wrap and you know you're going to have the Indian summer temperatures for the next two weeks you are able to do that just as long as you provide the right protection to get through that freeze whether it's a day two days and right now we got the bombing 63 degrees I will continue putting both these double covers over the tomato plants during the nighttime I don't have to do the single double wrap like I did with this these two tomato plants and the cucumber plants but um, I do need to keep the temperatures about 10 15 degrees uh, protection for the evening and then during the day I'll take them off they'll enjoy the 70 degree temperatures and I can get my tomatoes to turn red thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button